Man, I don't, I don't work out, as you can tell. I got like the shape of a, a T-Rex, somebody said to me. <laughs> Stomach all big, arms all little. I just... You know, my, my girl, she told me, she said, baby, you know, you gotta get in the gym, you gotta get right. I, I think it's because of my performance. And, the, and the, but don't worry about it, I'm, I'm gonna get it together. It's, it's crazy, the other day, I, you know, I, I called myself going all out. I, was, I said, baby, you know what I'm saying? She was laying in the bed looking real good. And I said, I'm just gonna attack it. But you know, at this age, you can't, you can't just attack it no more. You know, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like a car, you gotta like, let it warm up. Before, you know what I'm saying? So I called myself just diving in, just going hard. I was going hard. Five good minutes, and, and, it, and something just happened. I felt a pain in my chest. A sharp pain. You know, you start reaching for all type of shit on the nightstand. I, I, I was grabbing like amlodipine. That's my blood pressure medicine. Kidney pills and golden seals and eh, water. <laughs> She said, she did some bullshit. She, she patted me on the back, talking about, it's gonna, it's gonna be all right, baby. This is what type of shit is that? I, I, I just moved, man. And the crazy thing about moving is, 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 uh, is finding new shit, man. I'm having trouble finding a new barber. I don't know if y'all can tell, my hairline is, it's not my hairline. This, is, <laughs> this, this, ain't, this ain't the line that I had prior to moving, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's crazy, cause we, when you find a new barber, man, it's like, it's, you, you leave your old barber. You ever run into your old barber after you left him? It's like running into an old, a old drug deal. Like, nigga. <laughs> You're like, nigga, where you been? Who did that to your man? <laughs> fuck, it, fuck, touch this shit up like that. <laughs> now I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just reckless with it. I'm like, I'm like a barbershop hoe. I do, like, I just go to random shops. I don't even care no more. I just gave up. Go to the barbershop like you, fam. Cut my hair, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, after they done it, here, take my car, make it a... Nah, I don't want your number. I went to this barber, man, and, and it was different, man, because I sat in this chair. You know, you know when you sit in the barber chair, you, you got you to gotta get tight on them, man, because these barbers, these barbers are weird now, man. Like, the barber, the barber will pump your chair, you know, shh, shh, shh. Now, I, I'm 6'2", it's no reason for this dude to pump my chair this high. <laughs> know what I'm saying? You don't gotta do it that high. He stopped, he stopped the pump at like around a uh, ball level. <laughs> His balls. <laughs> he was kinda like sizing up my line and he, and he swiveled the chair and my, and my knuckles My knuckles kind of graze his balls. I think it's crazy shit. Now, now you get to the, the most uncomfortable part of the barber, barber shop experience is the, is, is the mustache. Because you gotta trust this nigga. You gotta, you gotta like, you sit here like. <laughs> hey, you gotta kind of like close your eyes. You gotta, you gotta like give him like a slight little lip poke so you sit there. Now the barber this time, he had like all type of shit behind him. Whole apparatus to clean you off. He got the, he got the new air holes to clean you off, the, the powder brush, blow dry, all type of shit. Now, now when we was finished, I had, like a, I had like a loose hair somewhere, like right here by my mouth. And, and instead of this nigga wanting to use any of the apparatus that he had behind him, <laughs> he decided that, that he, wa he wanted to, to blow. Some weird shit. Like, I was like in the middle of asking him how much, and he. It was like an air kiss. Kiss me. 